a good video right here. This one's about a couple of months ago, but this still is, this one still get commented on uh, to this day. I actually remember quite a few comments to, earlier today. So right here, we we got one called "Corrupt Cops Threaten Deadly Force During a Traffic Stop." Yeah, this is this was a simple traffic stop, but the cops had to resort and escalate. Yeah, and they had to engage over these these two uh, these two people that were pulled over in the traffic stop. They were driver and passenger, exercised their First Amendment of free of freedom of speech and knew and knowing the rights and recording them. Let's get to it. Boom, boom. That's what I bought it. I just bought the scarf. Oh, okay. You just bought the scarf? Yeah. Okay. Right. I don't know what you bought it. Let's see. We can go right up the street here and see off Mountain Avenue. Okay. You have your license registration? Yeah. I think it would be better if it's right here. You can hear it. Because the video just pretty much points at the, da uh, windows, at the wow. dash. All right. Or the windshield. What about you, boss? You got a license on you? Me? Yeah. I a license? Since when is a passenger needs to have a driver license to ride a shotgun? I never heard anything like that's like that's like finding bench warmers sitting there saying, "Oh, I need to have a CDO Class C license to ride public transit and trains." I mean, it's crazy. I do, yeah. Hey, you mind handing your partner right here? Well, what reason would I have to identify for? Yeah. You didn't pull me over. You pulled him over. Yeah. So you didn't pull me over. You pulled him over. Remember you? Yeah, I you, remember you Yeah, too. you pulled me over before. I used, to, I used to ride my bike before I got a car. Yeah, I used to stop me. <laughs> Why are you giving me a hard time this time around, man? Here we see another instance of a police officer trying to infringe on a citizen's rights, and this time Chino PD officers in California, this is Chino, California. are trying to force the passenger to identify himself. I got the new registration right here. But he had a partner's ID. I have the right to identify everybody in the car. That's why I know. You have it on you. You can hand it to the partner. It's not right a stop and ID state, sir. Come on, I know the right. I know my rights. I mean, come on, bro. What? I said I know my rights. This ain't a stop and ID state like that. Like, come on. I have, a, I have the right to identify people in the car. Mm -hmm. If number one, California is not a state. Uh, it's not a stop and ID state. Number two. We all know what it is to go to is cops are saying, "Oh, I need to ID so I can identify you." Oh, oh, it'll help help us ad identify you. For what? For what? You know, this city said, "Well, I, we we need to know that like, you we're not wanted for crimes or you, know, you got warrants." You know, you know that's exactly. It. And they sit there say, "Oh, to so help us identify you, to know who we who we were dealing with, who you are, or about your background." Why? Why? I mean. First of all, why is it why is it matter if somebody's background or who passed criminal record? When someone did you know, when someone committed a crime that did the time, that means it's done. It's over with. It's in the past. It doesn't have the reflection of someone what well, they did the crime five, ten, fifteen, twenty years ago and they did some time for it or paid a fine bit, you know, who cares? That has no, nothing bearing about today's bearing about identify somebody out today or for a traffic star or being detained by the police. And number two, let me tell you something as well, ladies and gentlemen. Cops nowadays, you know, they sit there and say, "Oh, help us identify." No, they want they want to ident they want your ID so they can run you in the background and hope you got a warrant. Cause you know why? It's about money. It's about quota. It's about revenue. A lot of states, that's what they do. They're hoping you have a warrant. And it and a lot of times they don't. If they don't, if they can, they figure out. Oh, you don't have a warrant, but they figure out. Oh, he's got a criminal past. Well, let's jam him up. Let's make up a law we can get him on arrested. There you go. More money for the good guys. You don't want to see what I'm going with this? If you suspect suspect me of committing a crime, you have the right to identify me. What? If you suspect me of committing a crime, if you can articulate a crime that I'm being exactly is when you're dealing when you're dealing with cops, you'll say, well, I say, oh, and you say, well, I need to identify yourself, or we have we we got. Well, we believe that you're a suspicious person. We got a call about a suspicious person that matched your description. That's right. I said, okay, how am I suspicious? What articulated suspicion of a crime have you articulated that I, that I am committing, about to commit, or have committed? And they go and a lot of times the cops are like, Whoa, bingo, see? But they're gonna they're, they're gonna double down and they're gonna then they're gonna make up more shit to justify the reasonable and actions. Suspected of committing, then you can identify me. But as a yeah. passenger in the vehicle, you you don't have we'll to. Get back to that. Okay. And then you want you my insurance? In you want my insurance? Why do you have some warrants or something? No, I don't. Actually, I don't. There it is. There you have it. Look at that. That's one of that. And that's what a cop will tell you. 
you know, if you fail to identify yourself, and you know you're right, you don't have to identify yourself. They're like, well, what's the, re what's the reason why you don't identify? Do, do you have warrants out? Are you on the run? Did you commit a crime? Well, what, what do you got to hide? I got nothing to hide, but what's the purpose like that? I haven't committed a crime. I'm just, I'm just riding shotgun with my buddy. We're going point A to point B. I haven't done nothing. I haven't I've robbed the store, raped the woman, sold any drugs. I haven't murdered nobody. I'm, just going, I'm a law-abiding citizen. <laughs> That's what they tell you. Well, 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 do you have warrants? Or are you running for the law? I, you know, just like when the cops get a canine searching like that, and they ask you, well, did he got any guns, drugs, bazookas, large sum amount of cash and money? Yeah. I mean, what's that going to say? Well, and I'll say, well, where are you guys coming from? You going to work? Have you taken a dump lately? When's the last time you had sex? Do you watch porno? How much porno do you watch? You know, what sports do you like? Hey, what's your favorite team? That's what cops will try to do you with as well. Don't. I don't. No. Yeah, you got no warrants. All right, you guys should try to be right back, all right? Hey, do me a favor. Uh, put phones down. Everybody put their hands out in front of you, okay? I don't know what's up with you guys acting sketchy, especially you. I've ran into you before. Yeah, I know, dog. I'm just, you know what I mean? It's all it. Hey, since you want to play like wow. that, play Okay, like what's your name and badge number? Well, wow. he said, well, now he's putting, he, he wants everybody with their hands up, like the, the guy driving the steering wheel, he wants the, the other guy put his hand on the dash. He said, you guys going to end the sketch? Like, no, they're not acting sketchy. They're exercising their, their First Amendment right. They know their rights, and cops don't like it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it comes down to. When, when, you, when you know their rights and you stand up to tyranny like this, right there, cops are going to get, they tend to get a little pissed off. And they tend to get the little fifis hurt that know that you know the law, that you you stand up to them. It's like when you stand stand up to a bully like that. Oh, they hate it. Yeah, you know cops expect you to run and fold and give up your rights and just to obey and comply. It's like when you're doing the bully, they expect you to run like a like a, like a coward and like you're you're scared. But you stand up to oh they hate that. That's what cops are. They're like bullies at the playground. Hold on. Man, that's hey, give me solid. Put the phones down, put everybody's hands out in front of you on the dash, okay? And you, man, camera behind the headrest, okay? What's the purpose of this? <laughs> Tinted windows? Oh, it's going to get deeper, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on. Put on your seatbelt. This shit's going to get deeper. So after the cop realizes that these folks know their stuff, mm -hmm. he detains all of them despite this whole incident stemming from the car Allegedly having tinted window. That's what the whole thing was. Tint. You have to articulate a crime that somebody has committed to detain or identify. No, the tinted is not. No, it's not a crime. That's victimless. For a crime to be committed, there has to be a victim. So traffic infractions aren't a crime. They're infractions. The tinted windows. Wow. Yeah, that's a fix-it ticket, dude. <laughs> Spot on here from the passenger yet again. So mm -hmm. after wasting more of these people's time by taking forever to run the driver's information, this is how the cop acts once he returns to the car. It's supposed to be... Why do I have to get off the car, sir? Can, can I just get a ticket and go on my way? Sir, can I just get my ticket and go on my way? Yes, if Agent First this man says I have the right to ask people to step out of the vehicle. Can I, as an American citizen, do I have any rights? Listen, listen. But that's for officer okay, safety if you're on like a main listen, roadway listen, or anything like that. It's a tinted window, sir. How are you doing, sir? Can I just get my ticket and go home? Um, can I talk to you first, Agent? Is this, okay. Listen, listen, as an, before you get yourself arrested. Let me say this. So, yes, a cop can order uh, in, you know, anyone or all the, pa all the people out of the car. However, they cannot extend a traffic stop beyond the scope and purpose of the original stop without reasonable, reasonable suspicion of other criminal activity. And these guys did not, they did not commit any act, you know, make themselves suspicious or commit any crimes. The original stop was for tinted windows. Let me read on. I say, uh, the cop asking you to step out at the end to talk to you instead of just handing you the ticket was likely un unconstitutional. However, of course, we'll probably grant this officer leeway unless outside of the car he continues to detain the question you for some time. And you know why? You know why the the courts are gonna grant the leeway and rule in favor of the cops? It's called qualified immunity. What? The tinted window? I'm trying to explain to you. If you let me talk like a man, I will let you talk. You understand that? And if you do, if you guys fail to comply, force may be used against you, including enough to deadly force. You understand? I'm giving you your support, Sean, just so you understand that. Whoa, did you hear that? You got it? Okay. Am I, am I being threatened? That's 
Jesse, use the force warning. Can you just get a supervisor? Okay. Can we get a supervisor yeah, up here? Yeah. That's the very first command. I have the right to ask people. Well, to somebody over him because okay. he's being like you ridiculous. Well, for tinted windows, really? Like, you understand on, really? that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm, I'm talking to you. Can I'm you just in shock that you're okay. doing so Step out the car. Don't work for yourself and step out the car. And I'll talk to you over here. We're recording this on live on yeah, on tour. Just, I didn't oh, yeah, tell you. Right. Step that's fine. Because the and here, guess what? It's going to, and get, you're going to hear what those officer, what one of these officers later on. He would just admit it. The pastor minute said, "Yeah, I'm recording you guys." By the way, well, it's going to get deep on that scope in a minute. Check it out. Uh, step out of any further. If I have to say it again, but you're first, be under arrest automatically. Right now, you're just detained. You're not under arrest. I'm a, I need you to step out the car. Uh, yeah, but I called just right and say, "If you don't step out, I will pull a place you under arrest." And you heard him say, "If they don't step out the car, they the, these officers will use deadly force. Deadly force means they will use their gun." And shoot these guys. Oh, what? For non complying? Wow. Since when is non complying for a cop to, for a reasonable, for a cop to pull out their firearm and use deadly force? Because these guys are questioning the authority of these officers and non complying. That's a huge problem. In order to be detained, I broke the law. committed a crime. Did I break the car? <laughs> for delaying a police investigation, if you get arrested. Okay? Investigating what, though? What's the investigation for? Tinted window. Stop an investigation, sir. Step out the car. Tinted windows is an investigation. If you have right to see it, turn around, face that direction. Do you have any weapons on you? Do you have any weapons no, on you? No, I don't have any weapons. I'm asking you. I don't have any weapons on you. Put your hands right here. I'm not trying to open you. This is what I had about. I had my test sheet. You just can't do this. You see, I had a test sheet. I had a right now. I don't recall you. I don't recall you. I don't recall you. Well, you know, I contacted a lot of people many years ago. The cop then threatens to use deadly force on yep. the driver if he doesn't comply with the officer's demands to exit the vehicle to be searched and questioned, conveniently out of sight from the passenger's phone. And to remind you all again, this all started from a traffic stop over tinted windows. windows. So based on exercising our legal rights, we're getting with that's crazy, bro. Like really? Come on, man. Like, can you guys articulate like a crime that I have committed in order to detain us? Like, Then the passenger is also forced to exit the vehicle to submit to a search and further questioning. Again, conveniently without his phone to properly record the situation. The video unfortunately cuts off soon after this as the interaction moves away from the phone recording the incident. However, the video uploader has included the officer's badge number in the description box of the video. And here's the contact information for the Chino PD, just in case you wanted to tell the department how you feel. That is crazy, absolutely crazy, that that officer threatened to use deadly force and did not comply with their order. And I've, I've always heard their people talk about, oh, just obey, just comply, you know, comply or die, just obey. Just give up your rights. That's what people sit there say. When it comes to a traffic stop or you be detained or be questioned by the cops, you don't have any rights. Bullshit. You got, everybody has their rights. And they should use it. Especially that that passenger was recording the traffic stop. And that rolls up to another level. When they, he, that guy admitted that he told the cop, oh, those cops did not like it. So they rolled even, they rolled it even to another level after threatening to use deadly force. So that cop even used another level and told him, oh, put, put, no, leave your phone sight, leave your phone sight. Oh, we recorded. Yeah, but how many times has the body cameras malfunction or they edit out the footage? The only way you can get the footage of a police body cam is for your request. And even that's a bitch up. Anyways, I'm out of here. My job. Peace out.